Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yogi, welcome to Daily Discipline number 405. My name's Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here. Honored and humbled that you keep coming back like for reals. So, hey, um, it is a manic Monday. It's a work day. Some people, it's probably a manic Monday for some people that don't have to work because it's a holiday week. Regardless, we got things to do. Let's go. Before we get into our first things, first, I want to talk about 405 for a minute, though, right? Yesterday was the 404, which is the uh, area code for Atlanta. I got some people in the 404. Today, the 405 is Oklahoma City, not too far from here. Um, the 405 is also a highway in Southern California. And it's interesting to me that one week ago, um, I was in Atlanta with some guys. One of the dudes is from Southern California, and one of the other guys who's like from Nebraska is was answered it's a legit question why are all the interstates in california called the like the five the 405 and um <laughs> i don't know why it is either but just interesting and here we are talking about the 405 and i want to tell you a quick story about the 405 so i i spent um nine months in los angeles about 10 years ago and i remember specifically coming home from an event on the east coast and by the time I landed, got in my car and was driving home, it was 10 o'clock at night, Pacific time. So I was exhausted. I was tired, probably hung over, all those things. And a friend of mine, a, a dude from central Illinois happened to call him. He's like, hey, what are you doing? And he was out boozing it up. And I was like, man, I'm driving home. And I'm not even actually driving. I'm stuck in traffic at 10 o'clock at night on a Friday night. And all I could think about, like all I could see was the negatives of living in Los Angeles. And I thought to myself, I can't wait to get out of here. And then I I often wondered, I'm like, where will home be for me? Right? Like I knew I wasn't going to just move around for where am I going to plant my flag? Who knew I was going to be this close to a different 405? Right? But I ain't complaining, I'm here. So welcome. All right. First things first, still the realist. Goal is to always keep it real with you. I am also en fuego, which is Spanish for on fire, right? All kinds of positive ideas up here that um, that make me feel good here, right? And I know that make the world a better place. And so I just feel like while I knew which direction I was going, there were just holes in it. And I feel like another really big hole just got filled, like a really big one. And it's and there's connections all around it. Um, and one of them is about Jack. So earlier this, like within the last week, sorry, Han, that I don't know which exact episode I was talking about, but I was talking about my kids and how, you know, I, the, the things I worry about with Sam and things I worry about with Eddie and with Jack, I just hope that Jack never wants to leave too far, right? Like I would be, I'm, I would be okay with any of my kids sticking around, being close forever, but just with Jack, like he and I have this bond, I get his crazy, right? Like I, I see what he goes through and I just remember how different it was for me. Not a lot of compassion, a lot of beating and bad words and just mean, right? So anyway, uh, yeah, I'm on fire. Like, I want to make this a better experience for him and for kids like him. And so just stay tuned for that. My thankies, even wrote my thankies in the color of the uh, San Francisco 49ers. Um, yeah, San Francisco Niners. I, I talked about this yesterday. I had a feeling. It's going to end up like that. And I started watching it and it started out like that. I'm like, I'm just going to bed. So I just went to bed, shut it off. Like, I know how that story is. I, it would have been a, just a tremendous surprise if they'd have pulled off a uh, turnaround upset like Oklahoma did. That. The difference was Oklahoma was playing a um, inferior team. Sorry, Baylor fans. We both know, right? Oklahoma should have won that game. Nobody was expecting the Packers to come back and they didn't. They got their ass beat. So, the good news about that is that it removed any thoughts I had in my mind that Super Bowl, or that the Packers were going to make a Super Bowl run. So I got to worry about that, right? Um, I don't spend near as much time thinking about the NFL and the possibilities that I used to. Now I just look at the lessons. Um, and then there's two interesting things about the 49ers. I just want to share. Number one, the coach. The coach is the son of a Hall of Fame coach, right? We talked about this, the star following somebody else's stars. His dad's already got a big star, right? And so... Just because he's got the last name, same last name as his dad, like the, the the VIP door was opening. But everybody that I hear talk about both of them, 
says that while Mike Shanahan, the dad, was a great coach, he's also very abrasive, very rigid, right? And men, dominant men from that generation, that's how they did things. Like, you're going to do it my way, right? Like, you, you may think you're going to be able to convince me to do it your way, but we're going to do it my way. Um, whereas Kyle, again, never met him, just relaying what I've read and heard, is a much more adaptive person. He understands that not everybody operates the same and that you can't just impose your will on everything. And look what's happening. They were a train wreck a couple years ago. Now they're really good. So that's the third thing is this GK85. George Kittle, their tight end. Um, I have a personal connection. My best friend at work, I see you, nice man, um, is a, they're cousins. So he's got a personal connection to this person. And then when you see him, like, GK to five, man, he doesn't, he doesn't roll like everybody else, man. Like that, things are a little bit different up there too, but he has figured it out. Um, and so I never thought that I would make a video in which I'm thankful for a kid from Iowa named George that played for Iowa and now plays for the 49ers the day after they beat the Packers ass. But that just happened. So for reals, right? And, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm happy. I'm thankful for that. I really am. All right, so here's the thought of the day. Hey, a-hole, right? Yesterday we talked about don't be a dick. You know, sometimes you have to be a dick. I didn't need to be a dick with my kids over a dollar pack of gum at all, right? And so as I made that, I started thinking about other times, right? Like I've got, unfortunately, I have a lot of examples in my head of when I've been a jerk to Sam, right? My oldest son. And so I was thinking about it. And I was like, oh, man, I got to tell him about this story, right? I got to tell him about the time he called me an a-hole. And so, you know, when when Sam first moved to Kansas City, he was used to being the king. He got to do whatever he wanted, whenever he wanted, usually through, like, you know, being spoiled methods. Yeah, yeah I don't want to do that. Yeah. You know, and I was having none of that. I'm like, look, bro, you, you're going to get, like, people be eating your lunch all day long. You act like that. So let's go. And so... um vividly remember it pulling up to a Lowe's in North Kansas City going in as we're walking in I'm like hey gotta go to the bathroom no I'm good dad I'm like sure oh yeah I'm good get all the way to the back of the store oh my god I gotta pee I'm gonna pee this is emergency I gotta go now and so of course I'm mad like we that was like a minute ago it was like more like two minutes ago so now we gotta go all the way back there to come all the way back here so you know what happened all the way down there I was just on it that's what I'm talking about pay attention right I know you're four but even at four, you know when you have to go to the bathroom. I'm tired of having bathroom issues with you. And just on him, just being a dick, right? Being a bully. So we get in the bathroom. I'm like, all right, I'll go too. Standing there, back, you know, little kid stall, regular person. He's over there. And I, I haven't stopped bitching since he told me we had to go to the bathroom. And then all of a sudden I hear, hey, a-hole. <laughs> and I'm like, what? And I look over down at Sam, tears in his eyes, trying to pee. He's like, you're hurting my feelings. Why, please stop yelling at me. And I thought, look at you, right? Growing up and standing up to the bully. And I don't need to be a bully. So thank you for interrupting me mid-rant to tell me to quit being an a-hole. And good for you for standing up. Now, next time, remember that you got to go to the bathroom before we get all the way to the back of the store. Um, yeah, sometimes you're going to have to be over the top to get things done. Um, but most times you're not. And, um, you know, it's just a reminder that if we treat our kids like that, then they're going to grow up and treat others like that. And thankfully, through lots of talking with Sam, um, I don't think Sam has bullying tendencies. As a matter of fact, I think he sees other people with bullying tendencies and tries to intervene. So anyway, yeah. How about that story, right? Like there's no need for that. And um, yeah. I just thought I would share that with you. So what we're going to wrap up with this is that, um, you know, obviously yesterday was a real emotional day for me. And I think part of it, you know, there was a lot going on there. It was the the guilt of, you know, how I treated my kids, you know, by being a bully, right? Imposing my will on them. And, um, and then coming to the realization, like, man, like, I feel like Jack sometimes, it's a different language for him, right? Like, I, I, nobody can explain it. He just processes information differently. He's a sweet kid and he deserves to be treated better than that. And, um, you know, and the fact that people showed the grace 
on our family to invite him uh, to come to that school where they're going to help him learn these things. Um, it's just, it was overwhelming. So what I thought I would do is, uh, you know, it's Thanksgiving week. So what's a better time to tell some stories about situations where we've been able to help other people or other people have helped us. And um, we'll just keep it going as long as possible. Besides, Nuke loves it when I tell stories. And in case you haven't tell, can tell by the views, when, when I cry, more people show up. So, so be it. Who cares? All right. With that, we're done for today. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. Appreciate you stopping by on a Manic Monday. Go get yours. Go get ready. Whatever you got to do, just go do it. Because you, you know what you'll find? Once you do one thing, then you're going to want to do another. All right. So let's go do this together. Let's ball out. And I'll see you tomorrow on a two for Tuesday. Deuces. Love you. Like all of you. Even the ones that sometimes I don't love you. I really do love you. Bye.